the sensation of their freedom. It's complete and utter freedom. You're sitting in the most comfortable chair imaginable, just soaring thousands of feet in the air. Yeah, I just feel at total ease. Nothing else kind of goes through your mind. You just fly and glide and they're free. It's peaceful. Peaceful and exhilarating and slightly terrifying at the same time. <laughs> So what makes extreme air different from the rest? Well, when I teach, I'm gonna move you at your own pace. Because everyone's different and the way we learn is very different. Lisa makes sure that your experience is very personalized towards you. So I will teach one student very different to another student, depending on what their needs are. She always knows what you need to work on. Every flight, she'll give you feedback straight away. So when I first start you, I'll start you on the ground, I'll show you the equipment, and I'll get you doing some inflations and ground training. She gets you running around the training field just to get, get used to all the equipment and see what it's like, to, the feeling of having a wing inflate above your head. And then you get a chance to start turning around and running down a hill and just feeling, this thing's gonna take you off the, off the hill. Once you've got that sorted and you're comfortable with that, then I'm going to move you to a hill that's about 30 metres to 50 metres high. And that's, that's where you get the first buzz because you've done your proper flight. So it's all about really reinforcing the launches and the landings. It's fun and the walk back up definitely <laughs> isn't. <laughs> And then finally you go for your high flight, which is the graduation of graduations. And nothing uh, can really prepare you for the sensations that you feel. And once you do that first high flight, it's just, it's just one of the most magical things I've felt in a really long time. You never want to do any, any of the small hills after that. <laughs> it's all about high flights from that moment on. You'll be blown away after you do your first high flight and you never forget so. As you progress through the course, all the instructors start stepping back a little bit and they'll let you evolve as a pilot. She wants you to be a perfectionist. So she's out there and trying to master your skills. You're making your own decisions. You're looking out the window in the morning and thinking, can I fly this? And so by the end of the course, you're doing it all yourself without me saying anything. You can tell like she's got so much experience. I, I've been flying for over 20 years, teaching for over 15 years. I fly hang gliders, I teach hang gliders, I fly ultralights. You know, your first high flight, you're quite anxious and scared up there, but just having Lisa on the radio, she's very calming and you just automatically got this trust. You do your first high flight and she just runs over and throws her arms around and gives you a big hug and she's just so excited to, to see her students just grow. You know, she sees the possibility and potential in everybody. She has so much faith and I think that's what carries a lot of the students through. When I teach someone, I don't think it's once you finish your course it's over. I'll keep teaching my guys and also keep them in a community. It's almost like she's, she's raising a family. Like outside of school, everybody's hanging out. We do these big group dinners. So we're getting to share the whole experience together, but we're, we're also like all really close friends. I think it's, you know, friendships that you'll, you'll take with you for the rest of your life. If you're in a community and you've got friends, you'll keep flying. It can be daunting when you're gonna learn how to fly, because you'll have fear in your head, can I do it, can I achieve that? Or oh, I'm, not, I'm not young enough, I'm not fit enough. But I'm going to move you at your own pace. As long as you're willing to work through that, I'm willing to be with you and help you through that to achieve the skills you need to get in the sky so you can become a pilot.